By April 1981, you chalked up some fantastic victories against Jeff Hunt in Munich and at Chichester. But your real chance came in the Wimbledon and squash, the British Open, and you were leading Jeff Hunt in the final 6-1. And you were marching on to victory. What went wrong in that game? Well, uh, I know that I was leading 6-1 uh, in the fourth, but uh, I think I went so excited because I was leading in the fourth game and I thought, you know, Jeff is tired, so I should have played long game that time. Your brother, Torsen, died. What sort of relationship did you have with your brother at this time? Well, it was a very big shock for me because uh, I was living with Torsen in England and he brought me to England and uh, I was living with about six months with him. And uh, I thought, you know, that's it, you know, my career will finish. On 28th of November 1979, Torsen died was a big shock for the family. But actually, Jahangir's father, Uncle Roshan, Jahangir, myself, made a promise at Thorsum's grave that we will work hard and Jangir will do whatever I say and inshallah we will bring the trophy back to Thorsum's grave in two years. And there it is. Ross Norman absolutely delighted. He's waited for 30 matches and on the 31st match he finally gets the victory. 9-5, 9-7, 7-9, 9-1. To beat Jahangir Khan, unbeaten in five... Criticism about you personally was coming in from all directions. Did you feel like giving it up at this point? Not really. Because we only had lost a battle, not the war. I remember when I lost for the first time. Uh, it's, it's, it was so much pressure on me because everybody used to come and watch me. Not that I will win the tournament or win the match. They thought maybe it will be the last day of it, you will lose the match. Well, actually, I was born with uh, hernia, and uh, when I was very young, I was so weak that I couldn't play squash. But uh, when I had actually two operations as well, and uh, my doctor said to my father, you know, that he can't be able to play squash forever, and he can't play any tough game. So uh, anyway, because uh, I was just playing, just, you know, I didn't tell my father, but I was just playing slowly, slowly game. But I was so interested, you know, because my family game, and uh, that was my actually hobby, uh, hobby, you know. I just wanted to play. Jahangir had to have a faith in God, in himself, and as a Muslim, was a very good start for him. But it wasn't going to be easy. That's why I had to remind him who he is. He is a Pathan. I had to take him back to those mountains of Khyber Pass and tell him that when Pathan decides to do something he will give, give his life for it. What, uh, what sort of a start did you have to the new season? Well, uh, uh, I knew that uh, I was working really hard and uh, I was playing, I played a few tournaments before the World Open and where I beat Jeff Hunt as well. And uh, I knew it was a big tournament for me and I never played World Open before. Before the World Championship started, Jahangir actually hurt his shoulder. How did you cope with this? Yes, he pulled ligament in his shoulder and he couldn't even lift his racket up was worrying obviously he had to work even harder had to get more determined Jahangir in that final that extraordinary final Jeff Hunt had actually taken the first game off you and you, you were down, and everyone thought that Jeff Hunt was going to beat you. When Remit told you that um, it was actually two years to the day that Torsen died, how did you feel? Well, uh, I, I knew when I was leading 2-1 up, and Remit told me about that this day when Torsen died, and it made me more determined in the court, and to make me more, I mean, hungry in the court, and just wanted to win it. And uh, in fourth game, I just went and put the pressure, and and uh, I just want to play the good winner and play the good game. I just want to win the game. There it is. Didn't make any attempt to go for that shot. So he's this is it. The youngster is right on the edge. And there it is. Little wonder that he puts his hands up in triumph. And I think everyone here privileged to have watched this match. It really was an absolute classic. Victory going to the 17-year-old, the new sensation of the squash world, Jahangir Khan. Look at that, a little embrace from his trainer. 9-6, love, 9-9, 4-4-9, and 9-6...